In this video, we're gonna go over everything you know about looting in the DMZ mode for Modern Warfare 2. We're gonna show you the best different types of containers to loot and the best spots in the entire game to loot no matter where you spawn in. These spots are not gonna have a lot of enemies and you're gonna get a lot of good items. So even if you're spawning in with nothing, even if you just lost the previous game, you're gonna be able to spawn in and really easily get geared up because a lot of spots in this game, if you go to loot them, they might have good loot, but there's gonna be a bajillion bots and you're not gonna be able to get anything done with that. If you're new here and wanna sub, I would greatly appreciate it because we're gonna cover everything DMZ related on this channel and if you love to like our comment I appreciate you a ton first let's go over the types of containers you want to look out for when looting computers are a very good source of loot first aid kits and medical cabinets and bathrooms are super helpful you definitely want to keep an eye out for the different types of fridges they come in all shapes and sizes and especially cash registers obviously cash registers contain a bunch of cash lockers can get you a lot of loot really quickly and then obviously the orange black and white chest around the map are going to give you the best loot if you spawn in near the police academy in this area Area, this building is great to loot. I don't really recommend going in the police station itself as you do need a key for that and there's a bunch of enemies. This area is going to have a ton of computers to be able to help you get loot and there's not going to be any enemies here. No enemies spawn inside this building. Pretty much every room you go into is going to have one to three computers. You can pick up a bunch of thumb drives if you want to sell these, but the main thing you want to be looking for are these encrypted hard drives worth $5,000 each. Also, even the closets that don't have computers can have good stuff on the shelves. Here's a game console worth $2,000. Once you've looted everything on the bottom floor, you can head upstairs for even more loot. This area is once again going to have some medical cabinets where you can get self-revives and a bunch of rooms with computers. You can also find normal hard drives and computers make sure you grab these because these quickly add up in value there we go there's another encrypted hard drive now i've got to make a decision i didn't find a backpack so we've already got a ton of loot so there we go after looting the police academy we got seventeen thousand dollars worth of items and we didn't have to kill a single enemy there was not a single bot here and it only took a couple of minutes we would have got even more money if we would have had a backpack probably close to twenty thousand dollars so if you ever spawn near the police academy just run in real quick get the items and go sell them if you spawn in in this general area this weapons cache right here is a really good spot to loot once again there's going to be no enemies here and there's already a medium backpack tier two armor plate some weapons tier three armor plate self revive now we got about four thousand dollars worth of loot but these ammo caches are way more about getting items we got tier three armor here there's multiple backpacks if you come here with a squad most people are going to be able to get backpacks armor and gas mask now for one of the best and most underrated spots in the entire game if you spawn anywhere in this this area you want to check out these warehouses right here these warehouses are great because unless it's a stronghold there's not going to be any enemies in here now there's going to be a lot of rooms in these warehouses. there's only really one room that spawns a bunch of loot and it's going to be this room right here these lockers you can get some insane stuff out of there we go tier two armor cash or cash oh, 800 watch look out for those Ooh, sometimes you even find weapons in them documents and then on your way out you want to come out this way because there's also going to be a weapon crate that sometimes has some good stuff in it as well now from here you can easily go to the two other warehouses now these next two warehouses are going to be just like the other ones there's not going to be any enemies and there's going to be one room with a ton of lockers that you want to open up there we go there's a large backpack and this is the main thing you want to be looking for these first edition comic books these are the only areas in the map i see these spawn at these are worth three thousand five hundred dollars each and sometimes you can find up to four of these while looting these areas another watch for 800 and a gas mask also make sure you get the first aid kit on your way out as well and then just like the other one check the weapon crate on your way out and from this warehouse we can just immediately walk into the next warehouse it's directly across from it and you know the deal there's not going to be any enemies up here and there's going to be one room with a ton of lockers to check oh there we go a one thousand five hundred dollar laptop now unfortunately this time we did get a little bit unlucky and we didn't get the best loot we only got thirteen thousand dollars worth of loot however there's times where you'll easily get twenty five to thirty thousand dollars worth of loot because you'll find three to four of these which quickly add up we did get a large backpack and we did get some armor and the best part is there were no enemies here so if you ever spawn in this area i highly recommend trying out these three different buildings because you'll get some easy loot quick now another good spot if you spawn in this area is going to be this building right here above the gas station and across the U.S. Embassy. You're looking for this Burger Town building right here. Once inside there's going to be a bunch of fridges and there's very good loot inside of these. So we go around the corner and start opening these up. You can see we got some cash but multiple items worth $500 each. Some more cash in the fridge. Some more cash in the fridge. Some more high value items. More cash. More high value items. Then if we head to this back room 
There's going to be some things to loot up here, the first aid kits, and there's going to be even more fridges with more cash and more items. There's also some first aid cabinets in the bathroom that you can loot. Unfortunately, this time around, we didn't get the best luck. We only got $9,000. However, there are some rare items you can find in these fridges. There's vintage wine that's worth $6,500, and there's also aged wine. If you get a couple of those, it's not uncommon to walk away with around 20 grand to 30 grand from this loot spot. And once again, there's not going to be any enemies here now once you finish looting this burger town there's another good loot spot nearby essentially past this gas station there's going to be a building right here next to the high rise this is where we're going to head so what we're looking for is this yum yum burger right here this is what it looks like in the map once we get in here i'm going to go ahead and drop all of our loot from the previous area so that way we can get an exact count of what we're going to get there are a ton of cash registers in this area like they've got cash registers on top of cash registers and there's also going to be fridges some of them are going to be fairly hidden so keep an eye out for them more cash registers more cash registers more I, I don't know why they need so many cash registers fridge got some canned foods an aged wine bottle for two thousand five hundred dollars now once we flip over to the other side there's going to be even more fridges with once again more wine more different bottles here and there's going to be more cash registers then once you head out front there's going to be some more cash registers off in the little side buildings and there'll also be some more fridges now we can head over to the other side as well and once again even more cash registers in here you can also find some cash hidden in the corner sometimes so with that from looting this place alone we got nineteen thousand dollars worth of items and that doesn't even include the items in the cash we got from the other place you can loot both these items back and forth we got twenty seven thousand dollars total however if you got multiple of the age wine or the vintage wine you could easily get upwards of fifty thousand dollars now if you spawn in in this general area there's going to be another ammo supply area this is what the building looks like from the outside it's right here on the map this is going to be like any of the other ammo supply areas you're going to find a bunch of different armor vests all that stuff while you're here make sure to get ammo because essentially it gets you more ammo completely free but i'm not going to go through all the loot in this area because they're just like the other one we just got you can probably find quite a yep, tier three armor plate a bunch of good stuff check the upstairs and the downstairs so unfortunately if you spawn in anywhere on this side of the map the only spot to loot that doesn't have a lot of enemies is going to be right here at this ammo depot this right here is what the building looks like this is the location and this is going to be like all the other ammo depots we just talked about if you have nothing you're going to be able to find some weapons here usually quite a few enough for your whole squad already got a medium backpack and almost always oh there's a self revive make sure to grab ammo oh there's a recon drone so unfortunately no tier 3 armor this time however most of the time you come to one of these ammo supplies you should be able to get tier 3 armor but that's really it in this general area this is the best spot to loot there is some areas where you're going to find a lot of chest and stuff but the amount of tier 3 armor guys you're going to find is going to make it not worth it if you don't have anything it's going to be too risky to loot those areas and if you are geared up and you have tier 3 armor and that stuff you don't really need the loot you're going to get from these areas so i don't really recommend looting any spots here if you do spawn in one of these areas i recommend getting a vehicle and driving to one of the areas that have better loot or you could do contracts contracts is going to be a great way to get money and other stuff but uh looting in these areas just ain't it another spot that's always amazing for starting off loot is going to be the train however this spot's going to be a little bit dangerous because bots can shoot you but this is what the train looks like it spawns in in this area and then slowly goes around the map so if you spawn in anywhere here you can just jump on the train as it comes by and let's see what we go ahead and find on this there's a ton of really good loot spots here oh yeah there we go there's a self revive and a medium backpack and usually i'd recommend doing the train if you just died when you have nothing to lose uh, and you, you don't get a lot out of it if you're already completely looted up because the best thing you're going to get from this is mainly going to be tier three loot and tier three backpack so if you've already got that there's not a huge advantage of looting this but we're just going to jump train car from train car going down opening these golden things there's some cash two thousand dollar game console be very careful around bots when on the train because they can actually shoot through the walls of this and that's why this is dangerous not only is this a well-known spot where a lot of people are going to go bots can actually completely destroy you through the walls i don't know why but for some reason i don't know if it's intentional or a bug but the bots can just directly shoot also sometimes you'll get one of these loot caches there we go another self revive even though we lost ours we got another right off the bat now unfortunately we didn't get tier 3 armor this time but a lot of times you'll end up getting a tier 3 backpack or tier 3 armor if not both now if you spawn in around this area right here i'd highly recommend going to these four buildings however you want to be careful because there's going to be enemies in this area and this area these four buildings aren't going to have a lot of enemies in it but getting to that part is going to be the hard part so i'm going to use the water to my advantage so once you get here this is what the building's going to look like 
here it is on the map. This first building is probably the single best location in the entire game to get self revived. This entire building is a hospital or some sort of medical facility, and that's why you'll find a ton of self revives. The first time I went here, I walked away with five self revives. What you want to loot is essentially these little packs on the wall, and sometimes you can find them on the beds themselves. Oh, there's a gas mask. There's one self revive. There's two self revives. Okay, so we only got two self revives, but sometimes you can get up to five. That's how I finished the mission. Then these other buildings have some decent loot as well. There's a lot of cash registers in this other building. Oh, there you go. Look at that casual gold bar in the gas station. I'll take that. This building also has an office with a computer and some other stuff on shelves. Then moving into the third building. And then finally the fourth building. To get into this one, you're going to have to crawl down through here. There's a lot of good loot in this building as well. Towards the front, you're going to have multiple different computers. There we go. A $5,000 encrypted hard drive. Once you cross to the other side, there's going to be a few more rooms with computers and other good loot. Now, once you've looted the bottom floor go upstairs because there's a lot better loot on the top as well this first room to the left has a ton of computers in it oh there we go encrypted hard drive on the shelf definitely don't be sleeping on the shelves because yes a lot of times you'll find the good loot inside of the computers but good stuff will spawn on these shelves so you want to make sure you're checking them too then past this there's also a few other shelves on the back over here as well then there's also good loot in these last two rooms here multiple fridges with a ton of wine worth a lot so from looting this spot we got twenty five thousand dollars and multiple self revives which is going to be massively helpful and we would have got even more. Unfortunately, we didn't find a backpack, so we weren't able to pick up a lot of the loot that was on the ground. We probably would have got close to 30 to 35K if we were able to keep everything we picked up. So I highly recommend if you spawn in this area to go to these four buildings. Yes, it is a little bit dangerous to get here because you're going to have bots. But if you can sneak your way over here, you're going to get some easy loot without a ton of bots. And this area doesn't have a lot of good looting spots. So, uh, and no one, I've never seen any real players here. So it's definitely worth it. This next spot is probably the best place in the entire game to loot. However, there is a catch. If you spawn on this island right here, I'd recommend coming to this estate and checking it out. Because if the chests spawn in, there's ridiculous loot here and there's no enemies. So you can see there's already an orange chest on the outside. Already got a large backpack and a self-revive. And all of these buildings aren't going to have enemies in it. However, there will be enemies on the outside. And there's going to be a lot of orange chests. And we should leave this area fully geared out with everything we could possibly want. The catch is sometimes these chests don't spawn in. I've been here multiple times and I think one out of every five games, you're going to find the orange chest here. But if it is one of these games, uh, yeah, already tier two are already two large backpacks. So multiple people on our team would have it. Tier three armor plate. You can get an entire squad of three fully looted out from this area. I would recommend coming here and checking it no matter what, but sometimes you're just not going to get lucky and there's not going to be the chest. Oh, here we go. Here's one of the white ones. Here's an orange chest, another orange chest, more money, another orange chest, another tier three plate. The kitchen also has some crazy loot too. another chest. Uh, as always, any sort of fridges you can find. There's a $2,500 bottle of wine, another one, another orange chest, another large backpack, another $2,500 bottle of wine, another. Oh my God, just cash, baby cash. And yeah, unfortunately, there was another team here so he did die but if you come to this area and the chests are here you'll probably walk around with close to 80 grand and pretty much everything maxed out your armor your backpack and everything and next if you spawn in around this general area below ronin oil these little apartment buildings have a ton of good loot there's a bunch of different lockers a bunch of different duffel bags this is my go-to place when it comes to farming keys however as you can see there is going to be some bot activity here it can be done solo but this is one of the spots where i do recommend trying to get a friend or two but you can see here bunch of lockers watches stuff like that and usually oh oh i'm fucking back out of that you can also find the magazines here usually if you loot this entire area you could probably get close to 20 30 grand and this one's great if you got multiple uh team members because it does spread out quite a bit of area so if we go ahead and look here you can see there is one two three four five six seven eight nine about nine different buildings to loot all of them with a decent amount of loot but with that guys we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video this has been all of the best looting spots to kind of go and get a bunch of stuff without having to deal with enemies I highly recommend this if you're a solo player or even if you're grouped up with more players like these are the spots I go to pretty much every game regardless of how many players I have if you want to see any more videos DMZ related we're going to be covering everything about this mode guide wise on this channel right here so make sure to sub if you want to see it. if you left a like or a comment I appreciate you a ton and hold on before we end this video I gotta I gotta I gotta show this bot what's up bro get out of here all right I'll see you guys in the next one peace